Hi, this is uh, Sheena, and I'm coming in. I know I'm, it's been months, almost a year now, and um, I, uh, I've been very busy. I have school now, and uh, I, I wanted to show you another one because actually my face is not looking too hot, as you can see. Again, and my hair is different this time. All natural. Actually, my hair turned black, just black. Uh, it used to be red brown, but now it turned jet black, and uh, I got tired of the color. So, actually, the color changed on me to black. So, I, I'll do it. Um, I'll see if I do a video on it. Um. It's growing out pretty fast, and a lot of people that don't, you know, know how it changed to black. I don't know. I don't. I really have no idea. But genes, a certain gene kicked in, and now my hair is black. So, um, the mask I'm going to show you today is of a. Uh, um, I guess a, a regular mask you get in the store usually has this product in it. Bentonite clay. You see? Oh. There you go. Bentonite clay. And it's white. It's pretty white. And it's just like regular powder. Like a flower, kind of. And it's a natural, um, clay you get from the earth and it's supposed to be very good for the skin to take out all toxins chemicals and poisons inside the skin so I'm not just using bentonite I'm using bentonite and I'm using I'm also using the elixir fake it's really green it to see how dark it is. It's really dark. Show you a little bit. I'll put it in my stuff. I'll put it in my stuff. See? Oh, put it in here. You see how dark? It's green though. It's really green. Really nice. Green. And uh, I'm going to show it to you. Here it is. See? really green as you see on my finger how green how green it actually is green very green dark and I already have a mixture here it's very good for you though and uh, I'll read to you the ingredients um, see it is wild crafted uh, plankton Uh, blue green algae superfoods if you can see here see okay. blue green algae it's very dark I have the dark um, which is supposed to be very good for you so what I have here is already a mixture of the bentonite clay and the blue green algae See, and I'm just going to put this in there. And what I do here is I'm just going to mix it up. That's what I'm going to do here. Mix it up. all mixed up dry mix it up dry if you want it if you want to use it see how dark on my hands yeah you can dust it off or wash it off it's very good I think it's I feel it's very good to breathe in and um, eat and also what I'm going to put in is called 
cell food. Have you heard of cell food? Cell food. It's just oxygen. And cell food with dissolved oxygen and trace minerals and plant source of amino acids and insects. So, um, I want a little bit of this in there. Like, I can't put a lot, but I can put some, and I'm going to put, like, uh, I would say four drops only, be, because I'm just starting it, and you can't, you can't, uh, put too much in there. So, I'm just going to go out with four drops, four drops, and, or less, or less, if you can't take it, um, and some water, lovely water, distilled water I have. Because I don't want anything in it, I want the goodness from my mixture to uh, for the water. But I don't want all of this. I just want enough to make a paste. Okay, enough to make a paste. So, so I'm gonna pour this in there, a little bit at a, at a time, and then mix. Now your paste, if you make it. With the blue green algae is going to turn green. I like to say vomit green, but <laughs> it's green. But you don't want it like this. You don't want it like this. No. You want it as smooth and as um, well. I do. I like my consistency more smooth, and for it to you know go around my face more. So, if you don't, that's okay. But you want it moist. You cannot have it dry. It, it will it will not work dry. Let me tell you now, it's not going to work dry. But you really have to mix this stuff up and get it to where you need it. If it becomes too watery, you can always add more. But just make sure you mix up well, because I find if you add more and then you didn't mix up well, you're having a bunch of little clumps, and you really have too much stuff and not enough water, and you're trying to go back and forth and back and forth. It's just not going to work. So, try to get it to the proper consistency for your face to make a mask. You want it thick, but you don't want it too thick, because you want it to roll around on your face so you can get it everywhere. Okay? I'm mixing it up. And as I'm mixing it up, it, um, yeah, it gets thicker, actually, if you mix it right. If you mix it good enough, okay? And once you mix it good enough, though, it should be good. It should be good. And I'm going to show you right now. Here is my consistency. You see? Where it doesn't actually easily drop in. Um, my liking, I think. I think it's to my liking. I like it more smooth so I can go everywhere. Okay. Now the smell is like weird. But never mind. Um, I've smelled worse. And um, now I will put in the cell food. The cell food. Four drops. And then I can show you that. I can add in. Four drops. One, two, come on, three, four. All right. Now that is going to give it all its minerals, extra minerals, oxygen, everything else that it's going to need. Trace minerals, which the uh, I say the heavy green in the um, algae or like already has. But, um, yeah, it's, it, it doesn't hurt, like a face like mine, real bad acne, you need it, you need it, I need it, um, 
so yeah all right now I'm going to show you how it, how if we want to put it on so now it feels weird but um didn't kind of make me have bigger hands not really needed here it is so I'm gonna put it on my face so you can see how it's all gonna go on properly okay Now, my face hasn't had a mask in a while, so I think it's really going to love this now. I happen to love masks. I do. Everybody else in the house is like, hmm. But when they put one on, they're like, whoa. I never thought, I think I do need masks. And I'm like, yep, you sure do. You're not bad for you. You're very, actually very good. And I'm learning how to make my own out of the ingredients that I need. And I know that are good, and I know what is in it to help my skin. There's a lot of things that it will tell you it's good, but it's not all that good. Once you read all the like ingredients, so yeah. Okay, well, it's about done here. I know pretty much you've seen a green mask before, which is quite famous. And it's a little lighter than this, and then it might be a little different. Mm -hmm. Like it may not be bentonite or something. It may like be um, something else, like just algae or something. I don't mind putting it under my eyes because I know what's in it. But, like, if you get a different kind of mask, like from the store, don't. It just may have chemicals that can go into the eye because I found that things go in the eye, even up underneath, so you have to be careful. Sorry, my computer goes to sleep. All right, here we go. Mask done. And a little bit on my shirt there. It's okay. Comes out. Doesn't have any problem. And uh, yeah, I always put it by my hairline because I have problems up there too. And you just leave it on. Let it dry. Wash done and you're done and you should see a beautiful glow I guess I don't know this is my first time using this kind of you know what I've made so I want to just share that with you and be sure to rate comment and subscribe if you want all right Thank you and have a nice night.